So there's a big scandal that's rocking the poker world at the moment, and it's over um, alleged cheating in in a big event involving you know a bunch of poker pros. So first, let me flex my you know my my poker credentials a little bit here. So I've actually won a couple of tournaments in my time. I've never played. Um, I never played like you know World Series of Poker or like the big events like that. But uh, one time, I think it was my 23rd birthday. I went to uh, it's either Mohegan Sun or what's the other one over there, Foxwoods or Mohegan Sun, and I played in a tournament and uh, I ended up winning it. And it was like I, I don't remember like a hundred and fifty dollar buy in, and there were I don't know a couple hundred people or something that were in it. And I played for a really really long time. In fact, I played for so long I didn't want to play for like the next year. So I'm not cut out for, like, a professional poker lifestyle because I like it, but I don't love it, love it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, but I won the I won the tournament. That's a little bit of a misstatement because it got down to, like, 10 or 11 people and we all decided to split it. But, you know, I never got knocked out, so won it to some extent. Uh, you know, I, I was part of the poker wave with Chris Moneymaker when he, um, I think it was 2003, NHL or something was on strike. And so ESPN was playing uh, World Series of Poker. And me and all my buddies got into it, and we were obsessed with it. And I spent all high school, all college uh, playing poker, and, and, and then some. So, um, you guys know I'm, like, obsessed with golf. I will be the first to admit, I am a much better poker player than I am a golfer. <laughs> so, um, and I, I, I love poker to this day. Big Texas Hold'em fan. I don't play it as much as I'd uh, like to, but maybe I'll get back into it at some point. Anyway, so, um, here we have a situation where... I'm just going to play the hand for you, and for those of you who don't know uh, poker, maybe just skip this video, because I it's too much, I can't lay out everything about poker in just this <laughs> this little segment, like you need to know how to play poker and the backstory and how it works, in order to really understand like the stuff I'm going to talk about here, but let's go ahead and play it. So you have Robbie Jade Lou, this, that's this, uh, this woman right here, and G-Man Poker, who's Garrett Adelstein. And um, I'll play the hand for you and break it down. This, this went super viral because, again, it's a big cheating scandal in the poker world. 6.7 million views on Twitter. I do think Twitter juices their views, but even if it's half that, that's like a ridiculous number. So anyway, let's dive into it. That was like one of his first TV appearances. One of his first ones, yeah. That was like before he won all those tournaments. And, funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, Robbie really mixing it up here, calling Garrett's raise with Jack Four off. It's blind versus blind, and... Garrett here has flopped a straight flush draw, 10 10 9. With All right, so Garrett has 7 8 of clubs, which is, you know, it's a good, good starting hand. It's connected and suited, and so you got all sorts of potential draws there. Um, and the flop was 10 10 9. Um, there's two clubs. So Garrett has a straight draw and a flush draw and a straight flush draw. So that's quite a flop for Garrett here. Uh, Robbie has nothing. <laughs> Robbie has jack high. Total whiff on the flop. Running straight draw, I guess you could say, and um, running uh, flush draw, but that's, you know, it trash. Absolute trash, which is why it's 70-30 on Garrett's side. Okay, let's continue. A couple clubs. He's going to bet 2500 Wow, and Robbie's going to call here with jack four with the jack. Okay, so Garrett bet and she called. <clears throat> the only the only reason you would call there if you're Robbie is to set up a bluff either on the turn or the river. That's the only reason why you'd call. Because you don't think you have the best hand. There's no way you think you have the best hand. There's no way you really think realistically that you're drawing to the best hand. So that's that's what's going on there. Anyway, let's continue. Back of clubs. Turn is a three, puts the back door hearts down. Mm. And this is usually when Garrett will lay the hammer down with combo draws. She's got a, one club and one heart, and wow, look at this. What is she thinking about here? Is she going to raise it? Okay, so this is a total bluff from Robbie. There's no way she thinks she has the best hand. This is her trying to steal the pot. This is what she was setting up on the flop when she called the bet. She did it to raise on the turn here, or, or she could have done it on the river as well. Either way, so Garrett bet, because he still has a, a good hand. He's got, you know, two draws here. He didn't hit anything on the turn. So, Robbie is still ahead, but she has no idea she's ahead. Um, and all she has is jack high. So, that's where we're at right now. Now, to this point, 
there's nothing that's that's really sketchy. It's all like you know standard uh, poker stuff, and uh, it's honestly it, it, at this point it just appears like a good move from Robbie because most players in Garrett's position here, I mean they might. I, I, I can't say that, so I'm not going to say what most players would do in Garrett's position. We don't know what most players would do, but it does put pressure on Garrett, um, and so it's not a it's not a bad play to this point from Robbie. But we'll watch what happens now. We saw her raise Ace King a little bit ago for a min raise. Here she's going to min click. I think he's considering bet three betting, and yep, there's the all in. Okay, so this is what's called a semi-bluff from Garrett. Garrett senses weakness from Robbie. He thinks she's making a play to get to get the pot because she raised. Um, by the way, that is what she's doing. She's It's a total bluff. Um, she, she made a play at it. It was a decent play, but Garrett also is a phenomenal poker pro. He senses weakness, and so he's re-raising and saying, okay, I'm all in. Now, this is where... I, it's the most obvious fold in the world. It's I, I honestly don't even think it's debatable. <laughs> like this is this is literally like insta fold is is what this is because she has nothing. She has jack high. Now she still technically has the best hand because neither of Garrett's draws have hit. Um, but she's got nothing. There's literally no way in hell you could ever make this call. Watch what happens. There's the all in. Garrett, like I said, he's just so experienced in bet patterns, bet sizing. He's going to put a time chip out? Now, notice how apoplectic the announcers are. They're like, but time chip out? What do you do? Time chip means I need more time to make this decision. And the, the hosts are like, what? <laughs> this is why you shouldn't be hand in hands like this. She doesn't have a three. She calls? You call me with Did you know did you see how apoplectic the, the hosts were? Like What? What are you talking about? You call. A jack high? You call me with a jack high. <laughs> For once, but it's up to you. Jacks. Oh my god. So far so good. What is going on here? See how confused they are? This is exactly how I felt watching the hand. I just it make it makes no sense. None. Zero. You cannot call that at all. I mean, the number of hands that beat her. I mean, it's even if, even if Garrett is 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 on a draw, right? Even if he's on a draw, you could put him on an ace high draw or a king high draw or a queen high draw to a flush, right? I, to call that is mental. It truly is. It truly is. It's up to you. Is it possible that her hand might be misread in the card graphics or something? See how confused the hosts are? Because they know poker. They understand poker. So you're looking at this, you're like, I... I don't, I don't know how you can make that call. That's the craziest call I've ever seen in my life. Because I have a shitty hand. You do? Yikes. No, I just thought he's... I'm, 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 this is a pure bluff catcher. With Jack High? She says it's a pure bluff catcher. You're bluff catching with Jack High? With Jack High. That... That... No, that's not a thing. <laughs> that, that's literally not a thing. That's not a thing. Sorry. But, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't have, I, I, I think you have to be. <laughs> <laughs> go to the river. The river is a nine. So, the river's a nine. Robbie wins the hand with Jack High. Now, the dialogue about the, around this has been fucking crazy. Because Garrett thinks, well... What the fuck was that? Really, the the leading theory is like she has some sort of device on her that might vibrate or let her know when she has the best hand. The person, whoever's keeping their eye on this with the live stream, sent her 
some vibration to let her know, like, hey, you're still ahead, even though you have fucking Jack High, so she called it. So, a lot of people think, oh, she's definitely cheating, and as far as I could tell, the rebuttal is like, you're sexist. I've seen a lot of that on Twitter, man, because this was trending on my thing I was reading through. Uh, oh, oh. Almost all of the people who are saying she wasn't cheating are saying, like, anybody who accuses her of cheating is sexist. I don't give a fuck who made this play. If it was a dude, it, it would still be totally, inexplic totally inexplicable. And I've seen other... There's some people I saw who were like, no, it's just like a bad call that worked out. No, no, no. I, I don't... I cannot wrap my mind around anything other than She's probably getting fed information. She, it has to be. It has to be. I can't see making that call when, like, literally the only hand that she would beat is the exact hand that he had, right? So, and so what happened after is crazy. I think she gave him back the money. And the person who staked her, the, another poker pro at the table, was furious about that. I don't know, man. Uh, the, the other thing some people are pointing to here, let me... I, I Honestly, I think the people who say this is definitely not cheating, they just don't know poker. They just don't know poker. They just don't understand it. Um, this is the other thing some people are saying. I'm not sure I'm buying this, but here, I'll play it for you guys. They say her chair vibrates right before she says you can have it. What is she... She says she thinks she has a missed draw. She only has jack high. See the chair she shaking. Eat ace high. I don't. I don't know what she's really thinking about here. You can have this. I, if she is getting fed information, I don't think the chair shaking thing is. I mean, that could just be her tapping her foot or something on the ground. I I don't know. This part I'm not convinced by, but I mean, I look. You do need more evidence, right? Like you need to prove that she cheated. You would need to have some more evidence to that effect, but. I think the most likely scenario is she had to she had to cheat because you just can't the way that unfolded is it just it defies all reason like and any serious poker player will tell you like what the fuck was that right so anyway now it's funny at the same time this is going on in the poker world we had the story in the chess world how you know one of the top poker players had some vibrating thing up his ass and was being fed information there, and was cheating, right? That's the allegation. I don't know. I have no idea if it's true. The same time as that, we have the fishing cheating scandal, where professional fishers, fishermen with like hundreds of dollars on the uh, hundreds of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line, uh, they were stuffing the fish they caught with weights, with lead weights, to increase the weight so that they could win the prize money. So, like all at once, you have all these these like cheating scandals exploding. Um, but this one was of particular interest to me because. Um, it just as a as a poker player, I I cannot make any sense of it unless Garrett is correct and she's she has information. So I mean, some people might not like that. Um, some people might think I'm wrong. I just the the logic of the counter argument makes zero sense to me. So there you have it. All right, guys, that is the show, y'all. That is the show. I love all you very much, all you beautiful people out there. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for listening. Um, so, yet again, everybody like and subscribe on YouTube. Leave a comment. Tell me I'm sexy. Uh, tell me I have the world's largest genitals. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and, yeah, everybody, listen over on the podcasting apps if you haven't yet. We got the full shows available over on the podcasting apps. And big thank you to all the patrons to the show. You guys make it work. Big thank you to all the people who signed up on Substack for Crystal Kyle and Friends. You guys make the show work. Again, super proud of the fact that I've never had a conversation with an advertiser in over a decade of doing this show. Um, and you guys make that possible. So consider, if you haven't yet, consider uh, throwing your boy a couple bucks a month on Patreon, uh, you know, you guys make it all continue. So I love you very much. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Peace. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.